thinking of she was an Easter seal child <laughs> herself. And now works very closely with the senator. This is my wife. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hello there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Executive director is an Easter seal. Nice to see you. Mary Crowley, I'll bet you know Mary Crowley from the Terriers. And Mr. Crowley. Thank you, Mr. Administration. How are you doing? Thank you, Mr. President. How are you? Now, Mr. President, you've met our Easter Sea Award child, and she is one wonderful young lady. She now has a special bicycle. But she also learned to swim. I used to be a librarian. <laughs> did you think he'd know about you already? He knows about you already. I told you you're going to like him. Yes. As we do each year, as you allow us to do, I want to present you with the very first of the 1985 Easter Seals to you and the First Lady mm -hmm. with our gratitude for all you do, not only for Easter Seals, but for all the handy, capable people in our country. And Danielle wants to give you something herself. Danielle, will you tell him about this? My classmate made this. Your class. <laughs> Your class did this. Each, each student drew their own face on there, and then the teacher, and one of the things the principal said he was very happy to see was that they all have smiles on their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where your class is, Danielle. It's in Chicago. In Chicago? Oh, is it? Where? Right in Chicago? It's, it's, in, it's in Elson. I live in Elson. Yeah? Elson. I live in Chicago. And I do too. Did you know Shirley? <laughs> We've known each other all these years. Did you know she was born in Chicago? something for you. That's the presidential seal. It's the same thing on the seal. And I name it. Those I guess you guessed already are jelly beans. Not for you. She wants to give you a gift. You want me to hold those? Thank you. Okay, I'll pick these for you, Daniel, and hold them until we can come on again. You know, the Easter Seal program continues to get bigger every year. I mean, it's the oldest and largest of all of the programs. What's your tell? See the dogs? What are you? Look at your dog. Almost twice. Almost twice. So, you know, that makes a big difference. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Can we mention the dogs? Bye. 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 And the buck keeps stopping here, does it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, ah, and I was trying to see if that came off. Uh, the position I guess I the today about that the sunset. But I just don't know exactly who to find that. Can we get this to the Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. 
the country. It's been a great opportunity. 100% for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. President, how are you today? I brought some special people. This is Mr. Andy Shredder of General Services. Mr. Clare Francis. 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 Mr. Clare Hi, I'm Jim Ferguson, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mr. President. By the way, it's a matter Mr. Francis was telling me he's known nine or ten presidents. He worked for four. He worked for Herbert Hoover, Mr. Russell, Mr. Truman, Mr. Eisenhower. He knew Mr. Coolidge, and he knew Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Nixon, Mr. Ford. What did they say about you? They're just telling about how many presidents you you knew, and uh, hey, I think it's... Well, no, I'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll close the book on this one. <laughs> well... Yeah, it's delightful. Thank you very much. Well, I'm... You know I'm for you. Funny. Yes. We all tried to do more. I'm proud of the fact that we had 95% Republican vote out of my section. Hey. That's what it took. Let's go do it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good pleasure. Yeah. Mr. President, if I could just mention, Mr. Francis was chairman of the General Foods Corporation for a number of years and then retired about 30 years ago and became more active than ever. He was a great fundraiser for Lincoln Center and at one time was chairman of the Studebaker Corporation after that, yeah. a member of the Hoover Commission. He has been a very constructive man for, for us and for the country, I think. Can I tell you a quick story about Kennedy? Yes. I was the chairman of the board of Studebaker. We didn't have the truck business. We needed it badly. I said, I don't make up a business, but we better get some. So, so I went to Gettysburg to see the president. But I'd be justified in coming to you, yes. That way we got to Kennedy. And at the end of 10 minutes, he said, Francis, if you want some help, I gotta get somebody in here. He and I are alone. I got fourteen million dollars worth of mail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Well, it's a great Thank question. you. I didn't quite with a general, but it was General Mills. Well, that's my sponsor when I was broadcasting baseball. Martha McDonald. myself doing that. My first trip abroad, when I say abroad, I mean to another country when I was, became president of Canada, and now it will be the first visit to, in this second administration. No, as a matter of fact, I have uh, seen something of, of Canada, and, and you might be, yes, and you might be interested to know that probably the largest colony Canadians outside of Canada are in California. That's right. And so uh, I was the governor there for eight years. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. I well, hope you enjoy it. Too. 
right? Yes. Yes. New York Times. Yes. Yes. President, yes. It's a picture of Helen Hayes, yes. made a dedication of the documents in the room. Wow. And I think it's very nice to see you. Thank, Thank you very much. Put your picture up there so we can see it. like he's holding him up. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Thank you. Well, this man's award was for sound, Mr. President. Oh, all right. All right. Thank you. Rich one. Rich one. That's quite a picture. That's the honor guard for the Vietnam War. became a civilian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm President Frank Johnson. Good to see you. This is a marathon race out in Virginia that I did. And uh, for heaven's sakes, Virginia Symphony had it. And they had all the uh, players out on each corner of the race, the road race. And uh, and I had another one here on the border of the uh, United States and El Paso, the uh, Border Patrol. Opens up. Yeah. <laughs> story on our U.S. border control and how they take care of that area of the world, especially with drugs. We have tra tragedy down there now. We have just now finally confirmed that he was the man they found. I'm sorry to hear that. Girl, wife, and three small children. Oh boy. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Television feature awards. Isn't that weird? Okay, just okay. lines of the channel. Yeah. 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 This wasn't for running old movies like Bedtime for Bugs. No, no. <laughs> it's the third district police officer. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the Spot News Award. Gentlemen, as cameraman of the year for television. Well, hi, Mr. President. Hey, pleasure meeting you. Well, it's no pleasure. Thank you. Nice to see you. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. The service of the Marines. Oh, dear. Thank you. This young lady, editor of the year for television news. That's great. Thank you. Feature award for television news. This is uh, Mr. Blaylock, Ken Blaylock, president of the association. Thank you for having me. Well, listen, pleased to have all of you there. And congratulations to all of you. I didn't say it individually, going through. And uh, I'm kind of proud that. Uh, I was the subject at least of one of them here, and I could <laughs> <laughs> we need to do a group photo. Here you go. Oh, Thank you. 
concerns to do with the stadium reciting the song. Thank you. Thank you. something so interesting. You'll love this. And this is one of the most important. Where's that easel? Right, 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 right. Okay, right here. Why don't, why don't uh, we sit, I want to sit in the chair. I want to show you something you might want to. Youth, health, and physical fitness, a national challenge. This is, uh, out of all the presidents we've had, we have no one that's been more concerned about fitness than you have, and the best example. Uh, more than now we're talking youth fitness. More than half the nation's schools do not do any physical testing at all. And the source is the U.S. Public Health Service. Uh, elementary schools teach on an average of 20 minutes one day a week. You can't warm up in 20 minutes. Isn't that something? Isn't this amazing, Mr. President? I tell you, this is so, 20 minutes. It takes you 10 minutes to warm up and 10 minutes to warm down. You know? uh, here's the one. One out of six boys, age 10, cannot do one pull-up. Isn't that something? I can do three if I you know, work my legs. Can you do a pull-up? You mean like a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that something? Two-thirds of our nation's youth in grades 5 to 12 do not have daily physical education. You know, when you were in school, it was a requirement. When I was in school, it was a, if you weren't out for a varsity sport, it was a, it was a requirement. That excused you. From yeah, right. And the president helped us keep that in California. Less than 5% of our school children <coughs> have daily physical education. Less than 5%. This is another reason why, you know, the First Lady's program on drugs they have too much free time. You know, if you keep them busy, I always wanted to keep all my players busy in meetings and long practice so they stay out of trouble. <laughs> in 1978, San Diego had after-school recreation leaders at 97 elementary schools today, none. Again, after school, you get in trouble, okay? drugs and so forth. In California, three quarters of all schools studied have terminated or reassigned PE teachers since 77. A lot of the football coaches uh, have different jobs. Today, less than half of the country's school districts have programs for physically underdeveloped children. And that means no muscle, you know, not handicapped, but just have no programs. Uh, two thirds of boys and girls aged six to 17 were unable to meet the fitness standards achievable by the average healthy youngster. That's real simple things like push-ups and yeah. set-ups, you know. These, these kids, Mr. President, can't even hang by their hands. Every day after I finish working out, I like to hang by my hands for 60 seconds, one minute just to stretch the vertebrae. These kids can't even do that. The flexors of the hands are so weak they can't even in 1980, 57% of America's youth ages 6 to 17 failed to meet the fitness standards for a healthy child. Research showed that children at routine play do not exercise vigorously enough to improve their physical fitness. You know, somebody throws a ball out there and you got to get your pulse up to make it uh, worthwhile. This is what shocked me. Heart disease begins in childhood. Forty percent of children ages five and eight show one heart disease risk factor. Of these, 60 percent have more than one elevated blood pressure, high cholesterol, or physical activity, inactivity. Isn't that something? Ages five to eight starts that young. All right. High cholesterol. Yeah. At, at that, that shows, you know, bad diet. Eighteen million youngsters. <clears throat> take the test each year. Last year, we only had 360,000 receive the award. 
that's a presidential award, you know, the patch. Yeah. That, uh, so there's losing, there's losing interest in that, you see. Yeah. Uh, and then the last one, we just, I just came from Admiral Watkins with his group. Uh, the Navy says 37% of our officer candidates, now officers, we're talking about cream of the crop, fail their initial physical, fail their initial fitness test. Many have not had a structured fitness program in six years. Source, Chief of Naval Operations at June 6, 1984, Youth Conference. That comes from Admiral Watkins. But that's even worse because you expect these people to be leaders, yeah. you know, and they can't lead if they're not in shape. So I thought you'd like to, isn't it? That, that's quite a presentation. Uh, yes. Well, I wanted you to see it. Mr. President, what, what I would like you to do, Ash, give me that thing. I'd like to have you, if you would, uh, I'd like to have a blue ribbon clinic or symposium uh, with uh, an invitation from you, and this has never been done by any president, of uh, maybe a hundred and twenty. Uh, uh, Thank <laughs> you. 